Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. I'm actually pretty curious uh, on what's gonna be happening here. My hunch was right, so I gave the Maiden Husk the bell that I just picked up at the end of the previous episode and look at this, Somber Smithing Stone 9. This is what we need. You might be wondering why I have 200k souls. Uh, what I did is I literally used up all my rune items. Uh, felt pretty satisfying, not gonna lie, but I feel like this might be this might be the point where we might as well go for everything. Uh, we might as well go all out. Was that not needed? <laughs> Did I miscalculate? Oh well, it ain't gonna matter too much, is it? Yeah, let's go ahead and try to level up as much as we can. It's like three. It's one level. It's one. Oh, it's two levels. Okay, I was worried for a second. I might as well go for HP. I, I have nothing else to go for, really. Um, nothing from you. I'm assuming nothing from you. Cool. Let's see what we can do back here. Uh, we should be going to... Is it this one? Crumbling Beast Grave? Looks like the one. Yeah, this might be sort of like a split episode, because uh, it's pretty late here. But... It's not it. I'm stupid. Hold on, hold on. Oh, fuck off. I'm actually do wondering how much this deals. Not with a backstab, because that is a lot. Did I just like get the whole squad on me now? Well, take the Reduvia for a spin. It's actually quite powerful for a dagger. Yeah. The DPS on it. This is the one. It's just the range. Uh, if I could go back, I probably would have picked a different bleed weapon. Although I don't know what. I don't know what bleed weapon would have sort of worked. Because I do like this thing. It's it's very it's very like I like the look of it and it's cool. This feels like such a torrent area, you know? God my nose is itching. I don't know why. This it this is like the most boss arena boss arena ever created. And we have a draconic tree sentinel or whatever this guy was called. Of course does a shit ton of damage. Whoa! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. your horse can do that. I forgot. Why Torrent can't do that, don't ask me. But it's a bit of a bit of a bummer. Oh. Shit, that's quick. If I remember correctly, this guy could be bled, right? just hitting him yeah well that didn't deal much damage to him or I didn't deal much damage to him this is actually a point in the game where I'd prefer not to lose this 50k oh god can this guy not be bled if not, I'm kind of screwed. No, he can't be bled. He just has a absolutely insane health pool. Not what I meant to do. Do 
Jesus. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Shit. What the hell was that? Yeah, this guy is actually fairly difficult to bleed. Oh, AoE. But I don't see any other way to realistically destroy that massive health pool. Other than exploit the bleed. Yeah, no wonder people say, like, having a bleed weapon or something with a status ailment in this game is pretty much mandatory. Like, you can't really avoid it. Big AoE, I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm assuming this guy doesn't respawn. I'm really hoping this guy doesn't respawn. Because I'm like going all out a little bit. No hit! Why didn't that hit? Come on, I'm pretty close. Come on. Ah, shit, that's so fast. The horse fire. Thank fuck for that. 20k souls, malformed dragon helm, and yeah, the malformed dragon stuff. Um, this is a million percent a boss, and I'm gonna put my two cents out there. It's gonna be a dragon. I feel like, aside from the field bosses, we've not had like a big dragon boss, you know? Like a proper dragon dragon boss. I feel like this is gonna be the one. Okay, he doesn't respawn, thank fuck for that. So going all out was worth it. I feel like I'm gonna be doing this run back a lot. I just I just have a little feeling here in the back of my mind. Alright. Who is it? Kind of a dragon, isn't it? Beast clergyman. Oh, this is the dude. This is the dude. We gave all the death root to, right? What the hell? Okay. Oh, he's super fast. What the fuck? Oh, he's using all the magic he gives you. I guess I have, I have some of this stuff. God, he's so fast. He is so fast. <sighs> I feel like... I really truly feel like heavy builds, like heavy weapons are just currently not viable in this game. Uh, as I've sort of come towards the end game here, um, 
I really feel like it's become more and more apparent in my mind that the enemies are just too fast. Like the way they've tuned the enemies, the fact that your move set is still Dark Souls 3. And and this this was sort of something that was creeping into Dark Souls 3 as well, where enemies played like they were playing Bloodborne. And you were playing like you were playing Dark Souls 3. And I really I'm noticing now that picking this weapon as my main weapon was a massive mistake. I should have I should have gone for like a long sword or something because Okay, I don't know how to avoid that. And I am dealing like barely any damage to him. Just it's too it's too slow for him. This weapon is too slow. And it's sort of not the best feeling that I'm being punished for my weapon choices. Like weapon choices that took place like 30 hours ago game time I that that's the weird one He's so fast. What the hell? Thanks, camera. Okay, it's the next day I'm back because... Well, yesterday I was pretty tired to be fighting a boss of... Sort of this difficulty. Uh, let's try Luthal. Maybe Luthal is gonna be... A better uh, fit. It seems like oh shit! So it does look like you can jump that. I think. Fucking hell! This, this he's so fast. He is so incredibly fast that it's unbelievable. Serves me right for using a fucking heavy weapon, right? So I think the reason this is working, I mean Luthal, is because this guy deals, I think, just physical damage. And Luthal can block most of the attacks with the shield. Oh, fuck. It's like, so difficult to keep track of him. Thank you. Please just die. As in, yeah, he, he's, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was going to be a second phase. He's going to transform into something crazy. What the hell? It's a doggo. Oh shit. I didn't know this thing was a doggo. He's like... Fucking trash metal, not even trash metal, like uh, doom metal Sif or something like that. He looks cool. Ma oh, this is Malekith. He's like... I don't remember his thing with the lore, but he's important. Oh, shit. Oh, no, he has that... He has that thing that the Black Knife Assassins have. Did he... Did I say it right? He took off my HP? I think so. He reduced my max HP. 
fucking hell. Yeah, and he does health drain too. Okay, get them pillars here. Luthal is doing excellent. Can I just say that? He's doing fucking better than me. Goodbye, Luthal. Noble warrior. Ah, shit. I'm stuck. You know how in Souls games you can get stuck in the... The healing panic rolling, yeah, loop. This is not going to be easy. Uh, his second phase looks even more difficult than his first phase. Uh, we just need to... The thing is, like, I'm trying to figure out when I could hit him. Outside of the... Uh, like, when Luthal is no longer present, because I don't think Luthal is going to survive <laughs> much into the second phase. Um, he does very well in the first phase, though. I think I have my my summon, the summon that I'll be using, because, yeah, he can just block everything. So I think for a first attempt at phase 2, that was okay. on okay focus on Luthal please okay maybe you can't jump that I swear I managed to yeah you can't really do anything against the jumping attack and Luthal is getting fucked up If he could just survive a little bit into phase two. Fuck. Thank you. Okay, second time seeing this phase. Thank you. Oh, come. I was on the wrong side. Whatever. Deal as much damage as we can to him. Okay. My stupidity. So that's straight up combos. Yeah, Luthal's done. some like crazy ass AoEs. I don't know when to hit him. Like, w when are you supposed to hit this guy? He has a shit ton of HP left too.
He's just... I don't know, like, when to hit him. As in, I know when to hit him, but... My weapon is so slow that he's punishing every single one of my attacks. And it's kind of shitty feeling. Still, this was an okay, okay try. Use the pillar. Sorry if I'm quiet here, it's just... This is... As you can probably tell, this is slightly difficult. Oh yeah, yeah, just don't hit him. Shit! Fuck. So you can use the lock on. It it didn't lock on to him. How are you? Act he still has so much HP. probably the best I've done. Luthal is still alive. And we need to keep it that way. For as long as possible. Luthal, don't be an idiot. He's kind of an idiot. Where? Oh! Shit, I was like, I really thought he was behind the pillar still. Okay, that's not something you can jump. As long as he keeps focusing on me. Shit. Explosion, yeah. Fuck.
health drain. Oh, that was lucky. So you can get like close to him on accident. Oh, that was good. I'm healing. This is the closest I've been. Luthal still has quite a bit of HP left. He's dead! <sighs> this is all I can show to this boss. Fuck this fight. Seriously. Yeah, I deserve that silver trophy. Oh man. Yeah, this is a, this is a watch the cutscene first and I'll give my thoughts. I just noticed my gloves don't match. We need to fix that. Cool, I think. You'll be Elden Lord yet. I will be. Don't worry about that. So from what I understand with the lore is this guy, so Malekith, locked away the rune of death. That's why no one can die, really. And then it was stolen and used to kill one of the gods. But then I guess he got it back or something. And we have to take it to be able to, like, I guess, kill, what, Queen Merica or something? Probably. And then become the next Elden Lord. That's what I got from the lore. Oh, cool. It's like Dark Souls 3. 
Uh, but the thing is about that boss, like design wise is excellent. Really, really ashen capital. Nice. Really, really good design wise. I love the way he looked and all that. What I loved less is uh, his gameplay. This, again, Bloodborne boss syndrome, um, very much so. And fuck it, we're getting to 60. And you know, the biggest issue is that with these last couple of bosses, I mentioned this, with Godskin Duo as well, and to some extent Fire Giant, and this guy especially, it really felt like it really feels like the game doesn't want you to use heavy weapons. Like, I've seen people, you know, when I was desperately looking for a strategy for Godskin Duo, I've seen people fight them, and everybody who was using a katana, long sword, any such weapon had a hundred times easier of a time than I did. It really feels like, again, this is something that unfortunately Souls games have been tending towards, that heavier builds are slowly becoming uh, unviable. What Essentially what they're doing is they are ramping up the speed and the aggressivity of the bosses to keep the challenge high, but at the same time this doesn't allow heavy weapons to function because heavy weapons rely on sometimes trading. But on the other hand, my weapon, for example, it doesn't do enough damage to offset how slow it is. Like if I was doing, I don't know, three times the damage I'm doing now, uh, I would be okay with trading because I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm trading, I'm using more Estus, but I can kill the boss quicker. However, that's not exactly what's happening here. Oh, hey there. Gideon? Oh, no. But wait a second, it's weird because this guy, he wanted us to become Elden Lord, right? I guess not. Oh fuck, he's a spellcast. He's a mega spellcaster. So he just has like every spell? I think so. Interesting. So, because really he was giving the impression that uh, he wanted us to succeed. I mean, this guy, he has come across as kind of an asshole. Like, I'm pretty sure he sent his assassin after us. I think I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. Uh, so he did kind of act like an asshole, but I felt like we got friendlier as things went along. But I guess not. What is that? There's no way you can get to this level, right? In terms of like, if you're a magic user, there's no way you can become this powerful, right? Now, he probably has maxed out stats, the cheater. It's cool. I mean, as far as as far as NPC uh, fucking boss fights go. What the hell is that?
So I've been fighting this guy for quite a long while and... Oh man. People are gonna so hate me when... I'm gonna put it out there that... I've not enjoyed this game since the mountaintop of the giants. Uh, I've not had... To be honest with you, I've not had any fun with this game since the mountaintop of the giants. Uh, none of the boss. I found none of the bosses fun. I found none of the areas interesting. It has been the biggest fall off and the biggest slog for any From Software game ever uh, since the mountaintop of, of the giants. Lane was so fantastic, capped off by a fantastic boss, and I'm so disappointed that since then it's been this uh, because, yeah. I don't enjoy any of these bosses, any of these fights, and this guy is a prime example. Um, I feel like I chose to use a curved greatsword, a slower, heavier weapon, like 30 hours ago, and the game is absolutely punishing me for it right now. It's absolutely like, oh, you didn't want to use a fucking... Moon Veil or Bleed Katana or whatever. Fuck you, Mr. Sketchhead. That's not how you were meant to play the game. Uh, and I don't even know. I'm gonna somehow try to uh, slog through this uh, somehow. But honestly, right now, I am really, really tired of this game. And this playthrough. And it's such a disappointment. I'm so I'm like like I'm disappointed that this is where the end game of this game chose to go, uh, because this is exactly what I was trying to feel. Like I felt FromSoft moving in this direction uh, in the Dark Souls 3 DLCs, which were still enjoyable, uh, and it has totally culminated in a complete game. And I mean. This game was fine until Landel, like I said, and it's just, yeah, I don't think I've ever experienced a FromSoft game falling off so hard. Yeah, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 1 does that, uh, but there are time constraints there. However, I've never been as frustrated with Dark Souls 1's post Orlando as I've been frustrated at this game's post Landel. So yeah, I'm gonna fight this guy, I'll keep going, uh, probably there's gonna be post-commentary or something, because I just can't bring myself to just sit here for I don't know how long. I have nothing to say about this boss, because he's just literally an NPC with all his stats turned up to max. Yeah. Um, I'll let you know what's gonna happen or what the future of this playthrough and this game is gonna be. If you did like this video though, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications and yeah, see you next time maybe? I don't know.